I got a comment, a question, and a request, so I'm going to fulfill those. Um, the question was from Lorenzo89XX. They said, I was just wondering if you like any of the Johnny's Junior groups. If so, which ones, or which ones do you think have a chance of debuting? Um, I haven't really gotten that into the, the, the Junior's groups mainly for the fact that they're they're young they're they're younger than me so i kind of just feel dirty if i look at them in a certain way in comparison to how it is with the older groups <laughs> i think i like the older groups more in that regard because they're around my age they're a little you know they're older than me so it's it doesn't feel as bad but it's not that the juniors aren't talented they really are um i've i've heard Say Hey Jump, I've heard Kiss My Foot, I've, I've heard a couple of them, and they're alright, you know. They're very bubblegum poppy, <laughs> because they're young and they're able to do that. And I, I, I wish the best for all of them, and I hope that they all do well. Um, who I think should debut, um, I would like Kiss My Foot 2 to debut, because I think that they would probably do really well. I saw them on Countdown this past, this year. And they were on roller skates, and I was like, "Wow, that's it's different." I think that they'll bring something new to the Johnny's table, so I think that they should. Um, I've heard of BAD, and I think that they have a good chance of debuting too, but uh, not sure. And then there's um, Heisei Seven West, and I really would like them to debut because they're a Kansai Junior group and there hasn't really been that many Kansai Junior groups debuting and stuff, so I don't know. That's, that's how I feel about that. Thank you for the question. Um, and then I got a request from Ky KyleyFan22 to do drama reviews. Uh, I've seen quite a few dramas in my time. I've seen at least like 30 of them. So it, would, it all depends on who you're looking for you know, and stuff like that. So I'm going to list off my five, my top five favorite dramas, and then I'm going to put all of the dramas I've seen in my info box, and then a link to Drama Wiki. I personally recommend all of the dramas that I have watched, because they, they had great plots, and they had amazing actors in them, and they're all worth watching. Definitely worth watching. Um... Okay, let's, let's get started with this. Uh, my top favorite drama would have to be Quisho Season 2. It has Yokoyama Yu and Sakurai Sho. That drama is so intense. It, 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 like, every episode it's just like, oh my god, did that seriously just happen? What the hell? You know, one of those things. The last four, five episodes of that thing, I could not stop crying because the, the things that were going on with the main characters were just, it was just so gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. But it was worth watching, it, even though it made me cry, it was, it was definitely worth watching, and I recommend that so much. So much. Number two would have to be Last Friends. It uh, has Nishikido Ro in it, and it, it's, it's another intense drama. Uh, his character, he, it's, it's intense, to say the least. You wouldn't expect Ro to be like that. And the, his acting was just perfection in that in that drama and it, it's another drama that you're like on the edge of your seat waiting to see what happens next. Uh, number three would have to be Hanakimi. It has Ekuta Toma, uh, Otara Maki, I can't pronounce her name to save my life, uh, and Oguri Shun. I adore Oguri Shun so much. He is an amazing actor. He's so talented. And then I love Toma too. Toma is just so adorable. I love Toma. And Maki, she's one of my favorite, favorite Japanese actresses because she is just so adorable and she has diversity. She can do different kinds of roles. 
Um, it's it's a school drama. It's it's a dorky drama. It's a very dorky drama, and it's just so funny, and it'll just warm your heart. It's it's a great one. Um, number four would have to be Nobata Will Produce, another school related drama. It has Kamanashi Kazua, uh, another one with Maki, and Yamapi. The combination of Yamapi and Kame was just great. The, the way that they'd play off of each other was really great. Um, Kame's character was more of a serious kind of character and he was like the voice of reason. And then Yamapi's character is just so dorky and adorable. Like he was the comic relief of the of the drama mostly. And I just loved it. It was it was it's a cute drama. And then lastly, I would have to say Yukon Club. Yet another school related drama. It has um Yokoyami Yu, Akanishi Jin, and then Juno from Cartoon. Uh, that was one of the first dramas I really watched because of um, the cartoon members that were in it because I was big on cartoon at the time. And it's another drama that's, it's a cute drama that has that comic relief and, you know, it, it's like, a, it's almost like a Scooby-Doo and the gang-esque kind of deal. It, they go and they, you know, solve crimes and stuff like that, kind of. It's, it's a great drama. Um... I don't know what other ones to really talk about. Um, another one, another couple I really recommend, like greatly, is Rome's, that has Yasuda Shota and Tadyoshi Okura. Great drama. Okura needs to be in more dramas. It's that freaking simple. God, he's amazing. Um, then there's Haniori Dango which has Masumoto Jun and Ogori Shun. Uh, another school-esque kind of drama, which it, it was a, such a good drama. There, there's two seasons of the damn thing and a movie and it, it, it was great. It was, it was very good. Um, and then there's Kimi wa Peto, which has Masumoto Jun in it. If you have any doubts of Matsumoto Jun being adorable, watch that drama and all of them will go away. <laughs> because he is just so adorable in that drama. Like, that was the thing that made me realize that he's not all bad and I grew to love him through that drama. Um, I don't know. Let's see, what else have I seen? Uh, then there's Kaibitsukun. Kaibitsukun, I definitely recommend that one. It has um, Satoshi Ono in it. It's a, such a cute drama. It was so cute. Like, his little moments were just so priceless. And I loved it. It made me appreciate Ono a lot more watching that drama. So, I don't know. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to stop rambling about, about all the dramas because I, I can go on for days about about it so um let me know if you want more information on more Johnny's dramas because I haven't seen all of them obviously um and I'll look them up for you and stuff like that so please guys send me more questions suggestions let me know how I'm doing um, talk to me. I want to talk to you guys. I, I really want to interact with you guys and interact with the community more because there needs to be more JE love in the world and it needs to be more connected. So, yeah. Go do that. Please. <laughs> hey, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.